Rosie, I want you to answer me honestly. How come you didn't do good on your science test today? Look mom, I am not good at science. It is really challenging for me. I studied hard and tried my best, but I guess it just wasn't good enough. I'm sorry mom. Oh, it's alright Rosie. I completely understand. I myself had a hard time when it came to science. Don't worry, you are not in any trouble at all. Just see if Caillou can help you out next time. Does that sound good? Yes it does. Thank you mom. Hey, Doris, what is your problem? Um, what are you talking about Boris? Oh, you should know exactly what I'm talking about. Rosie didn't do good on her science test, but you didn't ground her for it. What is wrong with you? You should have grounded her. Hey, I don't have to ground her if I don't want to. Besides, she isn't that good with science, just like me. She obviously tried her best, so she doesn't need to be grounded. Yes she does. You used to ground her when she would fail a test like that. Why are you not doing it now? Because, it would be a stupid reason to ground her when she tried her best. Yeah, and besides, I wasn't the only one to not do well. Literally half of my classmates didn't do good either. Only Caillou and someone named Noah got good scores. Face it Boris, she is not grounded, and that's the end of it. Well you know what, I don't care at all. I say Rosie is grounded for 1,234,567 years for failing her test. Oh just stop it Boris. You are literally freaking out over something little. She is not grounded, and that is final. You heard her dad. Just stop it now. You are just acting like the psycho grounding father that you are. Rosie, what did you just call me? I called you a psycho grounding father, because that's just what you are. I agree with Rosie. Oh, so that's what you both think of me, a psycho grounding dad? How dare both of you call me that? That is so freaking it. You are both getting a boot of punishment date containing more than 100 punishments. Oh Rosie, my god, oh my god, on. oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, you both are not getting away with calling me psycho. Huh, it sounded like I heard some sort of commotion coming from upstairs. Someone, you, someone, help us. Help We're us. about to get We're brutally about punished to get attacked. for nothing. Oh no. Why do Mom and Rosie look like they're running away from something? Doris and Rosie, get back over here right now, 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 now. Oh my gosh. Dad has become a teeth pie, and he is going to attack Mom and Rosie. Not on my watch. I am going to stop him. Rosie, we need to hide, quickly. Oh no. There's nowhere to hide. Mom, we are dead meat on a stick. Get over here right now. Hey, would you look at that? There was nowhere else for both of you to hide. Well, since we are in the kitchen, your first punishment will take place. What in the world is happening to me? Caillou, what in God's name are you doing to me? I am turning you back to normal. You are not punishing mom and Rosie. What do you think I'll do next? To be continued on way? <laughs> Oh poop, now I'm dead meat on a stick. Dad, you absolute psycho. I can't believe you became the teeth guy and tried to give Mom and Rosie a brutal punishment day. That's so pleasant. You are rounded for 1423658799123 turnies. Now get up to your room right now. Or else I will get Cody and we both will give you a punishment day. Go now. Wa 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 God, when will my dad ever learn? He is such a psycho. Caillou, thank you so much. You have saved us from that psycho. You are so ungrounded. Caillou is our hero. It's no problem, really.